heading into the weekend for that snowfall. Mm -hmm. Well, Carl Cole with the Yes Club joins us in the studio this morning. And you've always done something big for Martin Luther King Jr. Day, and this year mm -hmm. is no different. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. I take my hat off to both of your movie stars. It's <laughs> nice to be with you again. And Nice to see you again, sir. Thank you. Well, and Dr. King Day is a big deal. Mm -hmm. Yes, it it's is. A, it, it's not just about the black culture or brown people, mm -hmm. but it's really actually about all people because when you talk about freedom and equality and unity, it's mm. really about everybody. Sure. So for me, I fell into the gravy because I'm a music guy, so music sure. is universal, so I'm the guy to pick if you want me. <laughs> all right. But we're excited about that, and, and Andy, thank you so much for reminding me of this theme that we can't let go of, which is let's power up. Mm. What, what, what does that mean to you? And what, what, what was your purpose for choosing this as a theme? Well, power stands for positive outcomes with every resource. Whatever you got to uh, do, end up hmm. up. And then up is unity, peace, and also ultimate positivity. And if I can inspire and empower young people to be positive and to power up, that's going to affect adults, it's going to affect families, it's going to affect schools, communities, and wherever they go. So just kind of teaching them to shine and do the right thing, and I'm the guy that'll tell them and they'll listen to me for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why they like me, but I try to make it fun, and I just throw things at them, get them to engage. And we have participants in Rockford and in Freeport, Freeport being our hometown. Me and Diana were born in Freeport. Mm -hmm. And so um, we're excited to keep moving forward to help kids. Dr. King Day, a lot of them don't know when he was born. They don't know when he passed. They don't know how he died. They don't know he was the youngest to get the Nobel Peace Prize at that time. Um, so many different facts that they don't know. Mm -hmm. And so for me, it's a joy to be able to educate them and help them. But I fell into the gravy, Marta, when I found out that the kids are talented and they like to sing and dance. Mm. So that just made me say, hey, my life's mission is not so bad. I'll keep it going. Sure. Because that's really what I did. Mm. Um, back in 63, my mom was in the Illinois History Magazine for our family, the Singing Coal Singing, mm -hmm. um, seven of us. I'm number seven. <laughs> so now you got to so continue it on. I didn't have a choice. Mom said, get out here and start singing, <laughs> and I did. Right. Tinkling on the piano since I was three, and when I was 15, they said, Carl can play these songs better than anybody. Let him play. So it was like, hmm. So I'm excited about how many this years, particular how, event. How many years have you uh, been uh, in charge running the Yes Club here? Well, the Yes Club by name yeah. is about 15 years because of receiving an award from the Illinois Association of Park Districts and giving us the opportunity to perform at the state fair. Mm -hmm. So that was back in 2007. So that's when we named it the Yes Club. But you've been with, doing that for years before. <laughs> yeah, with, with doing assemblies in schools right. and sure. doing music and then teaching kids to be positive and to behave and work together. I would say that now we're looking at 44 years. This is, this <laughs> yeah. is 45 this November. So, so I don't know. I still run into kids that are in their 30s and 40s, and they say, "Mr. C, I had you when you were in when I was mm -hmm. in elementary school." Yeah, yeah. And I said, "What?" <laughs> they said, "You look the same." And I didn't know if that was good or bad. I was like, "Wow." <laughs> so um, it's important to, um, with this particular event, we're posting it on our YouTube page. We'll put it on Facebook. But it's going to actually be an event that you can access free and watch it. And it will include music, of course. We'll have music videos featuring our Yes Club kids. Mm -hmm. But we're also going to have history about Dr. King, but also about Mr. C and why there's a Sounds of Good News, why there's a Yes Club. And I'm really excited to do some tributes. Um, our primary partner in Winnebago County is the Rockford Park District because that's who we represent at the State Fair. Gotcha. So um, we did something at their commissioners, Board of Commissioners meeting and gave them an award. They were like, we're supposed to give you an award. Why are you giving <laughs> us one? And then we also recently gave an award to the Illinois Association Park District. They said, Mr. C, why are you doing that? So we have a greetings from, um, well, Jay Sandine is over the Rockford mm -hmm. and then 
Peter Murphy is over the state of Illinois Park Districts. And so we're excited about that. And then I'm also going to tribute my blood sister this year, um, who has a corporation called A Word For You, and it's all positive communications. But I'm featuring her because she's getting ready to launch a global podcast okay. about leaders and people who are making a difference in the world. And I'm guessing she can yeah. sing, too, of all the cool Of course, and, and write. <laughs> and, <laughs> and she's a bestseller. She's a three-time Amazon bestseller oh, author. Okay. Okay. So it's a so, program mixed with music and some mm -hmm. tributes, and whoops, it's all online. Yeah, and, and history. Mm. And believe it or not, I recently found out that the mayor of Chicago, Brandon Johnson, right. He looked familiar, so I looked him up and I said, what, that's little Brandon? I worked with his brother, who's a saxophone player, maybe 20 years ago. Oh, huh, there you and go. And I said, it looked like him, and I looked it up, and it was him in Elgin, and I said, what? So I recently connected with him. So we're trying to get a greetings from him that's relative to legacy, like, sure. yeah, Mr. C's been doing this. He even, he even touched me. Yeah. That would be pretty interesting. That would be cool, yeah. And it could turn into a Chicago Yes Club. I mean, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. We'll see what happens. <laughs> but, um, but certainly, it's something that needs to be done. And um, Dr. King's legacy really needs to be embraced now by everybody because it's way bigger than him. It's way bigger than his dream. Sure. But it's like, what can we do now? to keep that ball rolling, and if he were here, would he be proud of us? How can we access this on, on Monday here? Yes, well, we're going to post it on our social media pages, um, which will be YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and I'll have to check with the kids on the other ones because they know all 99 <laughs> of them. Yeah, and then, so that'll be there first thing. I might even do it right at midnight um, on the 15th, and then it'll be there permanently. And I think that that's good for people to have the opportunity to do it when they have time and check and they can It's like streaming it. You just you know. watch it, binge watch it when you can, right? Exactly. And, and you've and been you doing can, this pretty much since the pandemic. Have you found I it? I have. Have yeah. found but, it been better uh, for your well, club in general? Well, it's a lot of work to do it, but it gives me a chance to work with the kids more and do these videos and this preserves the it for longer, yeah. It does, and it's, it's more modern, and technology, that's where everybody is. But we, are going, we did get asked to sing in person at the Rockford Ministers Fellowship. Yeah, that'll and be theirs good. is at Nordloff on Monday 10. 10. o'clock. So they did ask us to do a couple numbers, and I said, sure, I'll do it. I haven't done it in a long time. And then I saw them on another news program, and I just happened to see it. And they said, oh, and Mr. C and the Yes Club is going to be here, too. And I said, I sure am glad I decided I was going to do it <laughs> because now I better do it. But, yeah. And that's, that's great. And, and then, Marta and Andy, I just wanted you to know something real cool that happened. Last October, we sang the Star Spangled Banner for the Ice Hogs yeah. at the Riverview Ice House, which yeah, was connected with the park reopened, district. Reopened the Ice House. Exactly. Ice house. And so they asked us if we would do God Bless America for the big game on the 19th and of course you know I'm a yes club man so I just say yes, yes. and then I'm like what did I get myself into but we'll see what we got to do so I don't slip on that ice and <laughs> then they were kind enough to create a fundraiser so if you buy discounted tickets hmm. um, for us then it'll benefit us so lots of cool things for January besides the different gigs that I'm starting to get and Andy I'm getting old I don't know but I think my fingers are young, yeah, so you still, you can still you tickle the ivories still there a little hit bit. A few notes, I guess. <laughs> yeah. but, but we're excited about Diana, and then Frank Robinson is president of our corporation, and then Andrew, my son, you would remember him, mm -hmm. project specialist. So he does all the editing and all the helps me with all the music and so many of the wonderful donors that we have in Freeport and Rockford, and all over. And if people want to donate, everything's right there on the website. Do yes, whatever you want to do. All yep. right. Absolutely. That's where you can uh, tap mm -hmm. into the power. Let's power up Martin mm -hmm. Luther King Day celebration. Yes, club CEP dot US. You can donate there. You can learn more about uh, their other events, including the Ice Hogs game and get discount tickets to that game on the 19th and support the Yes Club. Thank you, Carl. Thank you. We'll be right back.